Hello to my new friends from Amazon. And welcome to my channel, Catalina Does Life. Welcome back to anybody who has already subscribed to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Different, but it's also not different. In one of my previous videos, I was talking about how YouTube is hard and kind of my journey here on YouTube. But basically, uh, about 10 years ago, I started doing reviews for like baby product items. And then I got an email and they told me that if I didn't take down my name, because it was NPR, Mommy Product Reviews, um, that they would get legal involved. So I ended up shutting down that channel which I have major regrets now instead of just like changing the channel name and YouTube videos names, but whatever. I digress. The point is today I'm going to be reviewing not this cat, this makeup bag from Amazon. Yay! So what I currently have my makeup in is in this busted up makeup case. It is falling apart. This was actually on my Christmas list that I wanted a new makeup bag, but of course that list was given to my hubby. And um, I also did have makeup brushes on there and that he did come through with. He got me um, two packs of brushes from, I actually kept the box from them because I really liked the box eco tools and I really like those. So this isn't a review for that, but you know, there you go. And I don't have too much makeup. This is literally all the makeup I have, except for random things that I just misplaced. You know, like a couple lipsticks. You know, you take it with you and you're like, I'm gonna reapply my lipstick. And then you don't, but you forget it in your bag. Yeah, hello. <laughs> I'm going to be transferring everything into the new makeup box as I kind of give a review on it and tell you guys how I feel about it, if I think it's a good purchase or not. I'm the kind of person who tries to be very conscious about the things that I am buying. This was something that I kind of looked around for a bit to try to find something that was both budget friendly and large enough to hold the makeup that I have and that I felt like was going to look good enough as well. Like I didn't want to just buy an ugly makeup bag, you know? Like I wanted it to look cute. The first part of the review is going to be on the aesthetic of the, vi of the vibe, the aesthetic of the bag, to which I am going to give a five out of five stars. <laughs> I really love the way that it looks. It has this like cross stitching pattern, weave, weaving, weave look, and I really like it. It's not too bold, it's not too colorful. They do have other color options, but I just wanted it to be in black because I feel like it just goes with everything. I live in a small apartment and um, we don't have a lot of storage space. This literally sits sometimes on, you know, like the top of our, your toilet or um, on the tiny little bathroom counter that like it holds only your sink. And this has just not been the best thing for it because of the fact that like, doesn't really close right, doesn't hold everything. I'm going to have the, the link and the name of this item on Amazon in the description for this video below. Okay, I can't get this plastic part off of this one. So just a heads up, when this comes in from Amazon, it came in a really tiny package. I was kind of shook, but it was all like folded up and the packaging was like about this, this wide. This small, it was, I was like, is that really the makeup bag? Did I order one that was too small? No, they just squashed it down really well so that it can fit in a smaller package, but don't fret. It is probably the size you ordered. Unless you did order the wrong one, then, it, you know, then it's not. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this part, this, uh, this thing is annoying to me, so I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just roll this up and put this in one of these pockets. If I end up needing to move it, I'll move it. It's not a big deal. Okay, there we go. It has this handle. I'll be honest, I don't know if this is gonna be like the sturdiest handle. I don't wanna pull on it too much. It's, it's staying there pretty well, but we'll see once I have all the makeup in there as well, if it feels like it's going to like pull on it even further. Um, but so far, everything feels like it's pretty well made. 
Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks like they reinforce these handles quite a bit. I'm actually really impressed now that I'm taking a better look at it. It's not just like an X right there and the square. There's quite a few, like they went over it quite a few times to make sure that it was going to stay in. So I am happy with that, but I'm still going to give it a four out of five stars just because it's not, doesn't feel like it's made with like the best. Mm. Yeah, but the price point is pretty good. So for the quality of materials, if I wasn't considering the price, I would probably give it a four out of five stars just because it doesn't feel like, you know, like the best material available, but I'm not paying for that. I paid, I want to say $20. Let me check real quick. Oh, I'm, I'm using my phone. Okay, well, I paid this much for it. <laughs> So, um, and I know that it wasn't that bad. There was another one I was considering getting that was $30, but that one was more sturdy. This one, like I said, it's like bendable, it's material, it's not hard. Um, so this part actually is pretty sturdy. This part feels really solid right here, which is great, love that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give the materials five out of five stars because of the price. Now for the insides, it has two different sections. We have the top right here, which I believe would be for makeup brushes. Um, and it even has this nice little cover right here so that, you know, if you have like the, if your brushes are dirty, let's just stick one in here like this. If your brushes are dirty, it's not going to like get all over the bag because it has this nice cover over it. I love that, that is really awesome. And it has a double layer so you can like double, <gasps> Love it, look how cool that is. Okay, that is pretty awesome, really liking that. We have another spot right here, and then this as well for our smaller items. I'm not gonna keep these in here, come on. There we go. So you have something here as well for like your smaller items. Um, that's really cool, I'm not, too sure how I feel about the light color. Although right here, it is plastic as well, so that's going to be easy to wipe down, which is awesome. It's just this part right here that could get stained. However, the material of this is also something that I feel like could be cleaned off really well. Um, maybe not like perfectly, but that's so smart. See, those are things that I honestly didn't even think about, like the fact that it should be easily cleanable <laughs> not that i ever do it's really cool that you know if i ever decided to that i could so this is the inside here we have this mesh pop so this would probably be really good for things like your mascaras um maybe let's see this what about this i feel like this is this is pretty tight so i don't know that i would want to put things in here that are super bulky um because i feel like it could possibly tear but these rounded items you know, that works it. And then it comes with these that you can remove and kind of adjust to how you want for um, the products that you have. So if you have something that's really big and you need to remove this so that you can fit it in there, you can do that. That was something that I wanted to look for as well because some things like this one right here, it's not very adjustable. Like for example, this Fenty palette. You know, if you have palettes that have like strange sizes, they can fit in there because it is so adjustable and I like that. I like, I like it a lot. The other one that I was considering had a thicker um, separator and they were, I, I wanna say that they were like bendy and stuff so that it could really, really be customizable. That would be cool, but again, that one is more expensive. I'll go ahead and link that one below just because like if I had an unlimited budget, that's probably the one that I would have chosen, but because I was trying to keep budget in mind, I went with this one instead, which I'm not mad at. I am 100% okay with it. This was very good and very comparable to that one, um, the style wise at least. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up and then we'll see what that looks like when it's done. I'll probably just fast forward this part because I can't imagine that I would have a lot to say here for that, okay? okay. Let's go. 
All right, now it's empty and now we can say, bye Felicia. <laughs> so this is what I have left to work with. Oh, and by the way, my cat was sitting in here earlier and um, I'll put a picture right there, but he, he approved. He said five out of five stars he would recommend for your cat as well. <laughs> All right, so let's see. This is the fun part and getting to like organize it and figure out how I'm gonna put the stuff in here. Obviously, I'm going to be putting the brushes in here. I might also do um, a light declutter. Obviously, I don't have that much stuff. Okay, we got our teeny tiny brushes. Our medium brushes and then our larger brushes. So, um, I love it. It's perfect. Okay, now let's see what else I have here. We have some mascaras. to the larger part of the makeup bag. All right, so I put this over to this side where the handle is for the bag, and then I'm gonna stick these in here because when I put them here, they were kind of like sliding underneath, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna put them here face down, which is actually gonna help that way when I wanna use the product, the product is already to the opening of the tube, so I like that it can stand up like that. And then I'm gonna put these brushes. 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 So there we go. Everything is in here and I even have that really awesome open space that is still there. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll put the blushes in here just so that they are separated and they're not something that I use continuously. So it's going to be nice to have them there and I can uh, reach these other items easier. Okay. I am happy with that. Okay. I wanted to give you guys a better look of what it looks like in here. I have my bronzers and like the, you know, the white powders here for the face. I have my uh, medium sized eyeshadow palettes in here as well. And I have them standing up instead of stacked so that it's easier to see the one that I wanna get. Um, and then in here I have blushes. And then in this section I have my larger palette plus all the eyeshadows I kept in here so that if they wanna make a mess, it's at least all contained. Up here I have lipsticks. Um, and like lip care products, some chapsticks, things like that. Let me close it up. And then we get to the top portion and I have my brushes, I have my lip liners, eyeliners, brow liner, 
mascara, um, and I am also going to be putting my eyelashes thingy thingies in here. There we go. So in here I have my eyelash things and my eyebrow things. I love how organized everything can be. I love that there's so much space to put all my makeup. So there it is, it's all done. It's a little lumpy because I put those palette, I put the palette in there sticking up instead of laying flat, but I'm okay with that because I prefer it like that so I can grab it out easier instead of it lying flat and having to dig to the bottom for it. And this is the stuff that I'm getting rid of. So there you have it. There is my review of this makeup bag I personally would recommend it it works perfectly for the amount of makeup that I have if you have more you're probably not even looking at this to see if it would contain all of your makeup if you're looking for something that you can use to travel with your makeup this would work really great for that and I could personally see using this also to hold your hair care products like this could hold a brush I think a can of hairspray would fit in here and some like other hair products if you don't use a lot like me. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope that this review was sufficient enough for anyone who was debating on purchasing it or not. If you would like to, you can use the link that I have in my description to purchase this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if it was helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see other content from me. I am a mom of three kids, so I am making videos about that. I'm making videos about my journey here on YouTube and I will be randomly posting some product reviews if I feel like it's something that I want to share with everybody, either in a good way or a bad way. This one today was in a good way. So I hope that um, it answers any questions that you have about the product. If this was helpful to you in any way, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe and see more from this channel, then, you know, subscribe. And hit the notification button if you would like to be notified when I do post videos. I am not very consistent here on this channel. So that is a great way for you to know when I do upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.